Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Madeline and I'm so happy that you're here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I am going to be doing a Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. Have a couple screenshots of questions. I'm not going to be answering all of them because y'all were a little too nosy, okay? Some of the questions I got were so inappropriate. It was so funny, but yeah, we're not going to be answering all the questions, but... I have a good amount of questions to make a video. Without further ado, we are just going to jump on into the video. The first one is, how are you doing right now? Which I thought was super sweet because out of all the things you could have asked, they just wanted to know how I was doing. Um, when this question was asked, I was still in school, but we're going to answer it now. Um, I'm just super relieved and happy to be home. I finished my last two exams today. I just have a project due on Sunday and it's literally a workout video, which I plan workouts every day. So that should be super easy. I'm feeling very relieved, except I'm about to start a summer class. So I'm sure that'll go away soon. But for right now, I'm just relaxed. So, so happy to be home. The next person asked, what Bible and devotional do you use? I'm going to go grab it real quick. So I actually just did a come to church with me video. I will link it down below where I talk more about this. But I have a Zondervan Artisan Bible. It's just pink. I think it is so pretty. And then these pink tabs are on Amazon. Devotional, I have tons and tons of devotionals my personal devotional right now is am i enough by grace valentine i am on chapter 17 out of like 30 i want to say so i am almost done with this one it's super good and then my sunday school class at church is doing uninvited i actually got this for christmas but i hadn't started reading it yet and then my sunday school class is doing it so I just thought I'd wait until then there's like a workbook that goes with it too it's about living loved when you feel less than left out and lonely and that just applies to my life but we're not going to talk about it but those are what I've been doing right now the next question was what's your dream wedding girl I've been planning my wedding for about a million years um I will link my Pinterest down below if you want to look at my and so if you scroll down far enough, you can find my old decorations inspo. But um, right now, I've just really been loving neutrals and greenery. So that is probably like the colors I'm going to go with. Just different shades of neutrals and a lot of greenery as decorations. Just a super boho, romantic wedding. I've literally planned almost every aspect of my wedding. Sorry, Ian. I will link my Pinterest down below and you guys can see like my exact, my exact visions because one of my favorite hobbies is planning my wedding. So the next question was, when are you going to get engaged? Um, a lot of people already think I'm engaged. I have a promise ring from Pandora. If it'll focus. Yeah, this is just a promise ring from Pandora. I freaking love it. I honestly really like when people assume that I'm engaged, but um, I obviously didn't give Ian an exact date to propose to me because that would just ruin it, but it's sometime during my senior year, so I still have like two years till I'll be engaged, but yeah, we'll be getting married right after he graduates because if you don't know, he is in the Navy and we will be moving right after he graduates, so in about three years. My friend Macy, this is the only one I'm going to say who asked is, what is your favorite college memory so far? And I don't know if I can narrow it down to one. One of my favorites was um, when I was on my college's cheer team. We went to nationals in Disney. That was my first time at Disney. Um, first time competing in a competition that big. And it was just so cool because I got to watch big schools like Alabama, IU, Kentucky, just stuff like that and it was so cool and it was my first time at Disney so it was so cool to get to experience that as well and with all my friends. I'll just go with that as my favorite memory. I don't really, I don't know. I feel like I have a couple. We're just gonna leave it at that. The next question is how do you stay motivated to go to the gym? And honestly I don't. There are some days where the last thing I want to do is go to the gym and lift stuff but I am just a very disciplined person and I know that if I want to be healthy and look the way I want to look, then the gym is what I have to do. I think discipline is a huge part of it for most people that go to the gym all the time. I work out 
five days a week and um some days I just don't want to go but then I get there and I start my workout and I'm like I'm glad I came because I do truly love working out and I just have so much fun and I like seeing results I actually just did a transformation TikTok um I'm not officially finishing it for another month but I just kind of added a clip um last night just to kind of look at my progress and it's just really cool to get to see stuff like that and just see all the hard work pay off the next question was did you like cheering in college and pros and cons of it for the most part i did love cheering in college the reason i don't anymore is one i got extremely extremely burnt out on it which i think happens to a lot of people and also i my body was just hurting all the time i have really bad joints i have arthritis in my knees and probably my hips but i've just never had my hips looked at but my body was just in a lot of pain all the time and it just wasn't worth it to me anymore to put myself through that just to cheer and i just think there comes a point in life where you have to give up stuff and just move on to the next thing and i just feel like it was my time to move on from cheer and i do miss it and i loved my team and it was just so fun I'm glad that I at least got to experience a year of college cheerleading. As for pros and cons of it, um, pros, I would say um, you get to know a lot of people and you already have friends when you come to school in the fall because the way my program was, we came up in the summer and had practices, UCA camp, all that stuff. I got to kind of be on campus, see what everything looked like. I knew my way. I knew my way around campus a lot better when I came up for school and then I already had tons of friends because I had all my cheer friends and I also I just love cheerleading so I consider that a pro like I just had so much fun um I made my best friends through cheering and I'm still friends with them even though I don't cheer anymore which is really awesome cons of it for my program specifically we don't have scholarships yet and so it was a very expensive sport to keep up with and then um my program that I was in is working on building and so we just weren't taken as seriously and I'm just gonna leave it at that because I don't want to say anything I'm not allowed to say but it was just super expensive and uh that was another reason why I just decided not to do it anymore and it's just super um, time demanding and it was really <laughs> really hard on my body this next question was a good one my favorite holy grail makeup product i don't know if this meant like down to the brand like exactly one thing or like foundation like do i just like foundation just mascara like what's my favorite i <laughs> i couldn't narrow it down to one so i'm gonna do two this first one is super basic it is the Too faced better than sex mascara i have a hundred tubes of this in my drawer but this is the best mascara i've literally used it since i was like early high school and i just continue to buy it it's the best i haven't found one i like more than it and i just think it's amazing my other one is a more recent purchase it is the hula benefit bronzer this is like everyone and their mom has used this but it's new to me and i just absolutely love it i bought the mini just to make sure i like it and i am absolutely obsessed with it so i'm definitely gonna buy the full size when i run out of this and then the last question i'm gonna answer in this video was if you could only have one nail color forever what would it be and even though I have a bright color on my nails right now, Instagram picked my nail color, um, I am 100% a neutrals girl and I always go towards neutrals. So I would have to say probably either like a light tan or white. I don't know. White's a neutral, right? I'm going to go with white. My toenails are actually white right now. I just love the way it looks and I feel like it makes me look really tan. I would do like white or French tips. I love love french tips they're just more expensive than a solid color so that's why i get a solid color but i would pick white nails for the rest of my life and that is all the questions i'm going to be answering in this video thank you so much to everyone who asked questions i will definitely do this video again if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up so that i know leave a comment down below you can ask me more questions for my next q a if you want to make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload from me